You must have heard the shutter sound of the camera while capturing images, right? Camera shutter has been one of the oldest, yet probably the most neglected parts of the camera that haven't seen much technological innovation. But camera shutter has a direct influence on image quality. So every photographer needs to have sound knowledge about the types of shutters used in cameras, their usage, and their pros and cons. And in this video, we are going to discuss everything about camera shutters so that you can use them more effectively. So with that being said, let's start the video. There are three types of camera shutters that are widely used in cameras today. The mechanical shutter, the electronic first curtain shutter, and lastly, the electronic shutter. Now let's start with the mechanical shutter. Well, it sounds exactly like what it is. In most of the cameras today, you will find two mechanical curtains in front of the sensor. When you press the shutter button, those two curtains start to move while maintaining a calculated distance between them. This little opening between those two curtains is the only way light can enter into the sensor. If you increase the shutter speed, the opening becomes smaller, allowing a lesser amount of light to enter. On the other hand, if you slow down the shutter speed, the opening widens and more light can enter which makes your images brighter. So now that we have understood how a mechanical shutter works, let's discuss some advantages and disadvantages of using a mechanical shutter. The mechanical shutter is the oldest form of a camera shutter which is continuing its legacy even in today's modern cameras. And as we are so used to the clicking sound of the mechanical shutter, Using a mechanical shutter gives some people a sense of contentment when shooting pictures. A mechanical shutter is suitable for all types of photography. They are also fast enough, though not the fastest of all. Still you can achieve a shutter speed of 1 by 4000 or even 8000th of a second in most cameras available today. One of the major advantages of using a mechanical shutter is it allows you to sync a flashlight with your camera. Though a mechanical shutter is the oldest form of shutter available today, it didn't see much innovation. So as days went by, it became kind of obsolete. And there are many issues associated with the mechanical shutter that might make things difficult for you. For example, the shutter sound, though satisfying to many photographers, is not always welcomed. Particularly when you are shooting in a meeting or other places where silence is preferred. Besides, the movement of the curtains in a mechanical shutter sometimes introduces some shake which might reduce the sharpness of your images. Now there is a way of eliminating the shutter vibration. It's called the electronic first curtain shutter which we're going to discuss next. In the electronic first curtain shutter, the center is exposed to light all the time. And when you click the shutter button, the sensor starts reading, and after the reading is finished, the curtains move to block light from entering the sensor. In this shutter, only one curtain moves, and there is no vibration while capturing images as the curtain moves after the sensor finishes its reading. However, there are some downsides to using an electronic first curtain shutter. It can reduce the bokeh from your image. Moreover, you can't increase the shutter speed too much. It usually goes as high as 1 by 2000 in most cameras. So in case you need more shutter speed, you have to switch either to mechanical shutter or to electronic shutter which we are going to discuss now. In the electronic shutter, there is no actual or physical shutter. Like what we have seen in the mechanical shutter, it all works electronically. In this kind of shutter, the sensor remains always exposed to the scene. And when the shutter button is clicked, the light gathered by the sensors is read line by in electronically. Now the question is, why would you use an electronic shutter while there is a mechanical and electronic first curtain shutter? Well, with a mechanical shutter, you can go up to 1 by 8000. A mechanical first curtain shutter is capable of a maximum shutter speed of 1 by 2000. But what if you need more shutter speed? Well, in that case, the only solution is the electronic shutter which can usually go up to 1 by 16,000. Another benefit of using an electronic shutter is, it is 100% percent 
silent. For this reason, the electronic shutter is used in meetings, interviews, and other occasions where unnecessary noise should be minimized. But the electric shutter is not without its downsides. One of the most disturbing issues when using an electronic shutter is the banding effect. Besides, it also causes the rolling shutter effect created by line-by-line -line reading method of the sensor. Though we hope that the rolling shutter effect will be gone forever when the global shutter will be more available in cameras. Another thing is, you can't sync your flash with an electronic shutter which might be challenging when you are shooting a moving object. So that was all about the camera shutter types, their usage, and their pros and cons. Though camera shutter has significant importance in photography, manufacturers seem to be reluctant to bring innovations to camera shutters. But we hope that the future days would come with more improved shutters which will amplify our photography limits. So what are your thoughts about camera shutters? Let us know in the comment section.